Hey, sorry, that was uber annoying. As soon as I set my laptop down, it just um, shut off. Or not my laptop, but YouTube. My FaceTime still worked. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. But I have this bolt that I need to get out of the van. Yeah. Kale, what is your, uh, what's your name? I asked you that before, but I don't think you responded. Is your name really Scarlett? That's that's a really pretty name. I love that name. Put rivet nuts through the ground. That's a pain. So rivet nuts, if you don't know, um, they're basically like not removable. Like you'd have to like cut them out. Um, so somebody drilled through the floor and put rivet nuts in there and there's holes through the floor of the van that don't need to be there right now. Um, which isn't a huge deal, but one of them, it looks like they tried to force the bolt out and it raised the floor right here. And actually, I guess that's not a big deal either. I was going to say it'll it'll fuck up my floor when I install it, but it really won't because I'll have foam board down first and like the, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the part, the abrasion that comes up will probably puncture through the foam board. Um, and then when I have the sub floor on top of the foam board, it'll be a level surface. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. I might fill these holes with um, nah. I'm just gonna cover them with sound deadener, sound deadener, and then the foam board, and then the subfloor. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna worry with that. Uh yeah. The rivet nuts. Honestly, it's kind of stressful, but. They're like a foolproof way of making sure your shit stays attached to your van. I've seen people's cabinets fall off of their 
van, even their like kitchens pop out. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go get stuff to scrub the little rust spots I have. Um, I have that corner has some rust. Um, this side right here has like, it almost looks like just dry rust water. It doesn't look like it's actually touching the middle. Um, loud um yeah another little rust spot there that's in the metal and then under the step has some metal or um, some rust so i'm gonna get like a scratchy pad to scratch it off wipe it with water dry it and then spray it Okay, I'm back. I don't have um, like the kind of pad I like to use, so I'm just gonna use a Brillo pad and just like not scrub too hard. Um, but I use, usually use like those green, like, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those like green rectangle things like kind of scratchy, but they're not like metal like these are. Um. Got a rag to wipe it down with soapy water and then a rag to dry it off. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it comes right off with the Brillo pad. Good morning again. 
Abrasive. I said abrasion earlier. Is that a word? So there's like a hike in my floor over there. Ew, it is so dirty over here. God. I actually wipe this down. Okay, well, there's like soil, like fertilizer soil for planting plants over right here. I am going to put as many plants as I can in this van. I cannot wait. But it, the problem with plants in a van is that you're constantly like, you, do, you don't have a consistent temperature in the van and that kills a lot of plants. So you have to like be really careful which plants you get. <sighs> Sorry, I need to use this for a quick sec. pretty much fine. That. I'll show you this rough side. It's like all that I have to get off, which it's coming like right off. It's actually, honestly, almost like this better now. I I don't like how these are metal and how it's like so aggressive. I guess, but it um. It works so much faster than those like green rectangle pads. And seriously, like this stuff does not have to be perfect. I remember in the ProMaster, like I was such a perfectionist and like every little crevice and everything had to be so perfect. And as long as you don't have like a bunch of rusty like or like openings in the van, like it's it does not have to be pretty. You're literally never going to see it once you have your finishing and stuff on. You just waste so much time. And the van builder already takes so much time as it is. <sighs> OK, 
Google says it's a word. That's good. I also hate doing this because it literally files my nails. Like even washing dishes with these things, like. Oh, guys, I don't know. I'm worried about my window. I can have my mom help me, but she never gets, she like works and everything and it gets freaking dark outside at like 4.30, 4.45. I mean like a, I'm right back. I'm gonna go get a little brush. This is so boring. I think it's hilarious how people watch this. <laughs> Unless you're like building yourself, then I can understand more. I don't know. People love DIY stuff. The one thing I don't like about live streaming is that I can't like jam out some music because hold on. Loud. Um, because I don't want to get like copyright claims on me. I 
yeah, I thought maybe you could live stream or you could listen to music on live, but um, like copyright music, but I don't think you can. I had music on my first live that I did for my first live for the band build. And luckily they didn't copyright claim me probably because I was listening to Tash Latina and they're so good that YouTube just didn't want to get me in trouble for it. But yeah, so I don't listen to music on here. I've thought about wearing my headphones, but then I can't talk to you guys. It's really hard to get the rest that's like in these in this crack. I'll just spray it really good. And then the front corner is kind of bad. I'll show you. I mean, it's not that bad. We had some terrible, not terrible, but we had some rough spots in the Pro Master. This isn't, I mean, I guess that's kind of bad, yeah. off so easily with this only problem is um there's just like these little cracks and stuff that are hard to get into The, like these are holes in the van. Like somebody put rivet nuts through the ground. Yeah. But um, I'll probably just spray them with Rust-Oleum and at whatever point that I go under the van to do plumbing or whatever, I'll um, spray from the bottom too. Just so if the bottom ever gets wet, that exposed metal isn't so exposed to the potential of rust.
really should have gotten my um my overalls like one size bigger because they're like kind of tight when I'm layering and it's starting to get cold outside. I literally think I'm about to start wearing my animal onesies out here, but it's not that cold today. Today's like 57. I don't know. I also think I'm going to go to Florida at some point and just do a lot of the build down there at my grandma's house. Isn't it always raining in Seattle? I'm just kidding. I love Seattle and I feel like all the times I went there, it um, didn't rain that much actually. Is my hair blocking that? Fuck. I can't tie up my hair. There's like rust in there that I cannot reach. Damn, I have a friggin' metal shaving in my finger and it hurts. Before I spray all this with Rust-Oleum, I'll probably let it dry pretty well while I do like the walls. Here. This is such an annoying job. So I hate how soapy these burlap pads are. I'm complaining so much. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Plus, um, like you guys know how like my uncle just passed away and he was like really, really close with my grandma who is like who I would stay with. Um, so I feel like that would be good too for me to just be there and be her little roommate for a while. She's really cool. She's like a little old hippie. This rust spot is super annoying because they have like this caulking right here and the rust is like in between the caulking. It's so hard to get in there. Oh, yeah, it was like that. Oh my God, so loud, the trash people. Hold on. One of the live streams where I was doing the skylight and I was about to start um, cutting the hole for the skylight and then my dad was calling me and I told him I was live streaming but he said it was an emergency and then I found out so we like went to Florida and I didn't it was like over Thanksgiving we went to Florida and I yeah couldn't build for a little while. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going, I'm going, actually going back there um, this weekend. On Friday, I fly back for the memorial service. I thought about just painting over the rust before. I just, I don't know what people say to remove it first, but there's definitely some rust that I just can't, I can't get because of it's in such like a fine crack. Um, and it's just going to have to be sprayed over, but luckily, I don't know. Hopefully I do my foundation well enough where there's never a drop of water that touches this metal ever. <sighs> yeah. I hate like spending a lot of time on unnecessary things in the build. I'm definitely gonna scrub that step though. The step will be easy because there's no like, not a lot of crevices to worry about. One sec.
Yeah. Everything in the van build takes longer than you think it will. I always say that and I always will say that. is coming right off. I wish I had one of these that didn't have the soap on it. That'd be nice. And it's really surprising. This isn't scratching the paint at all. I thought it would like scratch off the paint a lot. I might just keep this um, wheel well cover off and then just make my own with. They're talking about the um, encapsulator, I think, Scarlet. I've always wanted a step so I can put like a doormat or a um, like turf, like a piece of turf in my doorway. I think that'd be so fun. I think I'd want, I think I'd want turf. I like the greenery. Ouch. But one thing with this van is I've really been trying to not get ahead of myself and think too much about like design like interior design aspects and all that stuff because I think it'll make the build process less fun and more like stressful and make me tired of it quicker which is going to happen regardless just trying to be present and not think about all the super fun interior design things I can do I just have like a general idea that of what I want.
I don't even know how I did that. like there was another rough spot but I can't remember. I think we're good on that. Need a... Yeah, that too. Like, if you think too much about how you want the van to end up, you do set yourself up for disappointment because you realize that some things are unrealistic or unachievable with the space and like some things just don't go the way you planned and you have to change things after that to accommodate so yeah just going with the flow i've never heard of dual axes Yeah, I I do like the like how people have security cameras on the outside. I think that's really cool. Um, Sarah Yak, um, she has that, and she has like a little screen inside her van where she can watch what's going on outside, even at night. I think that's badass. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I don't. I've seen like the van builds under five grand, grand and stuff. Um, let me go get a band aid. I'll be right back.
I also just realized I need to post an updated link to this new live. My mom's dog is not happy. Boy, chill. He cannot come out here. He's so mean to the neighbor's dog. Do you hear him howling? He's an English bulldog. You're not supposed to howl. I don't know how to see the link to my current live. Hmm. Oh, here we go. You always <laughs> English bulldogs are just they're they they're kind of gross sometimes, I'm telling you. I'll put him in my car for a couple minutes in my whole cars like covered in hair and uh it smells invalid link i'm trying to put this link um link to the new live on my oh there i am huh? on my instagram Uh, it's not working. I'll just put a link to my channel, I guess. Let's see. He's going crazy. He can probably hear me and it's like pissing him off. These are valid links. YouTube.com slash Darian. Sorry, Darian Explores. Copy. Paste. Done. Okay, something's... Oh, I'm dumb. I was switching the... I put the title in the URL box. Updated link. All right, now um, I guess I can start. Mm. I don't know. I'll probably wait for that to dry a little more, but I'm gonna put up, start putting up the sound bender, which is so exciting. I'll probably put it. Okay. There.
This is the part where I would love to have some music because the sound dinner, you don't really have to think. You just keep going. He like actually doesn't eat that much. Well, I guess he eats four cups a day. He eats two cups twice a day, but he like doesn't eat his food a lot. He doesn't like to eat if he's by himself. Yeah, because it's so freaking easy. Okay. I did get my headphones. I might just put one in. Oh shit, my two. Yeah. Okay. I freaking love music. Listen to my girl power playlist. Okay. I'm just gonna pause this for a sec. Okay. So I have my stuff after I put this on transparency mode. Okay. Perfect. Get yourself a roller. I didn't have one the first time I did this in my last build. And um, I wish I had just bought one. I can't remember what I ended up using. Like, I think I just ended up rolling like a handle of something, which is fine, but I haven't. I think that Brillo pad like left a bunch of metal shavings in my fingers. It hurts really bad. Cutting me. Um in my last van, I had Kilimap, and then I'm using Celeste this time. They're just from Amazon. They, they're both, like, really reputable brands. It really doesn't matter. They're, like, the exact same thing, kind of. So, but what I kind of like doing, if you are willing to spend a little bit more, is, like, just getting more matte um, cause some people just put like, you know, a patch, like, like for this whole wall, they would do only like four patches of dead map. 
And honestly, the more, the better. Like people say you only need some, and that's true to eliminate a lot of the vibration. But if you really want it to be tightly done, I don't know how to explain that, but like really, really quiet and soundproof, go with more matte. Smells like tar. Gross. I don't remember killing that smelling like that. Okay. It's like the easiest job ever. I actually, I need to be careful over here though, because I'm installing the CR Lawrence window and I don't want to cover where I'm going to cut that hole. something popped up um but you can also cut this stuff in, and shape it around too but you just want to try to get any like air bubbles out but i'm honestly i'm just going right over the ribs of the van getting it nice and tight this makes such a difference i'm so excited
Deadener, like smells so strong like tar 
And I just, I don't remember, I, like, I do definitely don't remember Kill, Kill a Man smelling like that, but I could be wrong. It was like three, three years ago, so. <laughs> It's a really gross smell, but I'm sure once there's insulation and everything, I won't smell it anymore. I hope. Uh, I will get my insulation soon. I, I think it's in the mail now, but I'm going to use Thinsulate just because it's so easy. It doesn't have like quite as high of an R value, but it's really good for mold um, prevention and like it's not flammable. Um, and it's really easy to um, install. everywhere except for the floor. I'll do um, foam board that I'll just get from Home Depot. Probably a reflective foam board. I forget which one. I think that one's I think that one's poly iso foam board, but that's what I'll use on the floor. And I think for the floor, I'm not going to frame the floor. Like most people frame the floor. I framed the floor in my last van, but I honestly think it's a huge waste of time. I've seen a couple pro builders not frame the floor because you're conforming the, the foam board and the subfloor to the shape of the inside of the van. It, it's not going to go anywhere. You don't need to like drill framing through the bottom of the van and then drill your subfloor into that framing in order for the subfloor to stay in place. So I think what I'm going to do is just throw down the foam board and then I'll use three quarter inch plywood as the subfloor instead of like a half inch. And uh, it'll be thick and sturdy enough to drill the cabinets and shower into.
like any tips for like the sound deadener except for spend the seven dollars and get a roller it'll save you a lot of time i like to use more sound mat than most people and I don't know, maybe see if Kilomat doesn't smell like tar because this Celeste ain't smelling great. It smells like a like a freshly paved road. But this is seriously like such a freaking easy job. <sighs> I'm just being trying to get the sound deadener really tight around the ribs of the van to make sure it's all really like stuck to the metal and there's as few air gaps as I can get. The less air gaps means the less road noise coming through. And the less vibration. I want to build a tiny home one day so badly, like so bad. God, that would just be so badass. And then I would rent it out when I'm not there. So other people can experience the lifestyle. <laughs> I wish everyone would try tiny living. It's just like so eye-opening. You really realize that you don't need all this shit. Like you can actually feel very, very, very secure and comfortable with less shit. Commune. Like, I want like little tiny homes in the woods for all my friends and family, but like close to a city so I don't get like cabin fever. Bulldog does not like the sound. When I'm in there, he just like lays in his crate and sleeps all day in the other room. But um, when I'm out here, he like sits by up against the door and just waits. <laughs> Looks so good. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, Scarlett, I was going to do a window um, today and I chickened out, but I'm putting a big one on that slider door. Maybe tomorrow. I think I need a second hand just to help me make sure it doesn't slide around and I put it in place. And um, and then I'm going to do a, um, a bunker window over here, which will be like above one of the couches and like above the bed. And both of those windows will open and ventilate. They'll have um, mosquito nets. I don't have the bunk window yet. Um, I just have that big one right now, but the, that one was on back order and I got them from Van Windows Direct, which is like one of the three, it's like Van Windows Direct, CR Lawrence and, um, AM Auto, AMA Windows. Those are the main ones. Um, CR Lawrence is probably the most expensive Yeah, I'm just not going to do the wooden frame on the floor. I don't know. I just I just don't think it's necessary. The wood isn't, no, like a wood frame isn't going to help with insulation. The insulation would be better insulation because what people do is they do the wooden frame and then they cut out the foam and put the foam board in between the wooden frame. But if you take out the wooden frame and you just put down the foam board, then you have more insulation actually. Um, but the wooden frame, people like it because they feel like it secures their furniture down better because they put their wooden frame down. They put their wooden frame down here and here. And then they cut out their foam board and they place it in between. And but if you take that and then what they do is after that, they get their subfloor, place it on top and screw the subfloor into those wooden frames and those wooden frames they screw into the van. Um, so they feel like there's an attachment point at every point in your build. And then when you install your kitchen or you install your shower or whatever, you're drilling it into the subfloor that's drilled into here, that's drilled into the metal of the van. But if you take out the wooden frame, you can just lay the foam board across the whole thing, insulate the whole thing, make sure it's nice and tightly shaped around the crevices of the van, put your subfloor on top, and make sure this wooden subfloor is shaped well around the van, just like a puzzle piece. And it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to, and for the subfloor, I'm going to do a thicker piece of wood instead of just like a half inch where you have more, um, you know, people typically do a thinner subfloor because they want um, as much height as they can get in their van. I'm 5'2". I have like a 10 foot ceiling. Um, so I'm going to use three quarter inch subfloor, nice, sturdy, thick subfloor, fit it in there and it's not going to go anywhere. And I can screw my shower into it. I can screw my kitchen into it, everything. And, uh, it'll be attached to the subfloor and then at the back of the kitchen or whatever, it'll also be drilled into the framing of the walls, which the framing of the walls will be riveted, <laughs> rivet. I'll use rivet nuts to attach the wall framing into the metal of the van, which rivet nuts you can't remove like a screw. Once they're in, they're in. Yeah, you're in the Pro Master too, which is a shorter, um, but you could still, you can definitely still do, um, skip the, the floor frame and do a three quarter inch. Um, my ex was, six foot and he still had like an inch above his head and we had like a slightly thicker ceiling so um you definitely have room to do a three-quarter inch subfloor
Yeah, people glue the wood frame too. That's cool. Like, um, I just I just don't think it's necessary at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, building by yourself is e overall easier. I think it's hard to like constantly. You're already doing something you're so unfamiliar with, and then to be trying to do that with two people working on the same thing is. Just... And that's not just my relationship. That is every van couple I've ever talked to about van building. Okay, I'm going to probably do this wall next. Less is more with the, um, with what, the sound deadener? Honestly, you don't need more, but more is definitely more. Oh, yeah, I mean, having extra hands is obviously nice, but working on really tedious props projects that are already frustrating is it just can get lots of arguments can happen or like a lot of times like you don't know like there's no technical there's not a lot of technical terms for what you're doing and you also don't have technical knowledge of what you're doing so when you're two people trying to navigate that, it can be really frustrating because a lot of times you're both actually saying the same thing, but in different ways. And you like can't get each other to understand how like what you're what you mean about how to get a 90 degree angle right here when this is curved and stuff like that. My biggest recommendation is if you do build with somebody that you try to have your own, like your own, like designated things that you do. That's nice. Like, I, I think it's so cute when, like, family, like, build together. Like, I know a lot of girls that have built with their parents, and I just think that's really cute. It's, like, a nice bonding experience, I feel like. Like, if my grandpa was still alive, we would build together. Doing the ceiling is going to be really annoying.
Pinterest is great for the van design. I've gotten so much good inspiration. Not necessarily from um, vans on Pinterest, but like tiny homes on Pinterest. There's like so many quirky, innovative things in tiny homes that you can put in a van build. I don't want to go too crazy on the mat and then I don't have enough. I think I'm only going to use three on the side. I might go slanted. I'm actually trying to make it a point to cover um, as many of these ribs as I can, these metal ribs in the van because um, I think they can vibrate a lot. So I'm going to try to stop that as much as possible. Oh, it's getting cold again. Thank you. 
I do feel like after I put it on, it doesn't smell like tar anymore. I just like notice it when I take the paper off, really, and I'm like rolling it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because like I'm maybe I'm getting used to the smell, but I swear it only smells before I put it on. Once I put it on, I don't smell it anymore. like roughly where I'm putting the um, bunker window right here so that I don't put sound under where it's going to go. Probably look up the dimensions for that window. Yeah, I'm really happy to be finally back working on the van been a lot of annoying little things and not ideal things that have come up. I am so scared to build in the winter. I do think like I'm mentally preparing to go to Florida now because and build there because I don't I just I don't want to be like stressed out about the cold here or be like dreading going and building because one, it's stressful sometimes. And two, like I have to go out in the freezing cold all day. I also hate like feeling like restricted. Like my body is, has so many layers and I can't use tools as easily or do tedious projects. Sorry, I'm trying to find this window. I have the, or I'm getting the van windows. The bunk window will go like on this wall, but like closer to this side. bed is going to start here when it's down and I'll go to about right here and that's where the couch this couch on this side will be too so I want the uh, bunk window to be in the middle I'll have to remove this uh, 
this piece of frame and that piece of frame, maybe this one. So 36, grab my measuring tape. <laughs> Gosh, that's huge. Oh wait, maybe the bed goes like here actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remove those three ribs. That's how big the window is. That's huge. Can you see that? Um yeah. And I want it above the couch cushion, the top couch cushion. I think the couch starts about here. Right here. Then it'll have a cushion and then it'll have the back cushion. So probably the higher the better on the CRL or the uh, bunk window. So it's probably going to roughly be there. roughly marking this so I know to avoid that space with the sound deadener because cutting through sound dead mat is such a pain. It's getting cold. I think I have to wear my sweater back on. It's a uh, mine. Well, they have different sizes, it depends, but like the most common like bunk window is, uh, it's about 36 by 13, but each like AMA windows, fan windows direct, which is what I'm getting, and Sierra Lawrence, they all three have that very similar window, but like the dimensions are slightly different on each one. So 54 minus, let's do 56. 56 minus 36 is 20. So that would be 10 inches on each side of where the CR Lawrence would start.
do that minus ten x squared. Right there. marked round about where my Sierra Lawrence will be. That's a huge freaking window, oh my gosh. And I will avoid that with sound dinner. Can you go get scissors? Oh, it smells so bad. It smells like chemicals.
really trying to close the gaps as much as possible in the um, around the metal framing. size yeah that's a big bunk window Is the three in one like the one with the like insulation attached to it? I thought about getting duck um, duck liner. It's just so expensive, and it's the same thing. You have to cover like literally every part for it to work. I just didn't really. I don't know. I just don't priorities. I don't think it's that big of a deal to not have it. It's a luxury.
Yeah. Oh, before you put this lesson? No, I mean, the braces are there, you know, for a good reason. They support the infrastructure of the shell of the van, but so I'm going to keep the ones that I can't, like, I, I want to keep as many as I are ideal. And I am in the ProMaster. I removed the ones above the bed because we wanted to maximize like the bed space. Um, but I think they're kind of important. I think they're semi important to have there. I don't think you just want to like remove all the metal struts unless you have like a really, really, really strong wooden frame system that's like riveted into um, like this and up there and then you have vertical beams that are really tightly installed into both to um, reinforce the shell of the van that way a little bit um but to install sound deadener i i'm going over the over the braces for the window i i'll have to remove them for sure yeah the yeah i did that too for the recess of the from master bed. Yeah, I don't know. The sound ender doesn't really doesn't really smell anymore. It's just really just when I am putting it up. It's like the exposed tar is what smells.
start cutting these into um, smaller pieces like without really like measuring them because there's so many different like sizes and things I don't know fourths extra I can fill in extra gaps Yeah, I think I'm going to put it on my ceiling, too. I, you know, like, I think there's probably more vibration that's going to happen on the ceiling because I have the, I cut those two big assholes. So I, I just think that it's less stable. And this does, like, it does make the metal, like, stronger. So, um, yeah. Did you already install your um, ceiling insulation? So it's definitely not too late to just get a small case of sound under. I mean, I'm sure it's not a big deal either way, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, it's not going to be like something like, oh, I wish I did that, like when you're living in your van. Yeah, I mean, just see if there's like a small case, like. definitely won't be like a regret per se. If you didn't put it in your van at all, I would regret not putting any sound under for sure just because it's so loud. And then with the wood, I feel like it would reverb, reverb, I don't know, vibrate a lot more.
This metal is so thick. I don't know if I even need it up there. Hi, how are you? Sorry, you can just step on it. Have a good one. You too. <laughs>
I'm doing a uh, finsulet, I think, on um, the walls and the ceiling. And then I'm doing like a, like a poly ISO foam board um, that I'll get from Home Depot. Insula is just like, it's so easy and it has like a lot of added benefits, even though it's R value isn't like super high. So I don't know. I did on, we did on the ceiling in the last fan and it was, it was so nice.
Spinners are cost a lot more to maintain. Even like I um, have a lot of friends have spinners, but um, one couple in particular was telling me that their oil change alone is nine hundred dollars in the spinner, and you have to take it to the dealership. So it's. And anytime you have an issue, it's it's going to be so much more. And you have to go to a Mercedes dealership. So I also know people that have had sprinters have broken down and there's not a Mercedes for 500 miles. So um, they have to get towed and then pay an, a huge towing expense because they can't just take their car to the local car shop. So... It's definitely something to think about, in my opinion. No problem. Hey, James.
Fuck, hold on, sorry. Um, I, yeah, it'll take me. I'm not like doing 13 hour days every seven days a week. Like if you want to get a van built done in 28 days or like how people do that, like one, people who usually do that have two people working on it at the same time. And two, I mean, they are like dusk to dawn every day after dawn. And I don't want... I just don't want to be super stressed out. I think um, my mental health wasn't in a great place for a little while and I'm feeling really good and I just don't want to be like adding unnecessary stress to my life. I live a lifestyle where I am remote and I can be in a place as long or as little time as I want to be. And so I just I'm good with taking my time, but I do kind of want it done. Like I do the one like caveat to that is the longer it takes, the less, like the more time I'm like staying at, I'm staying with family now. And I don't really like that for too long, you know, I'm 27 and used to having my independence. So I guess the less, I still have my independence, but having my own space, I'm used to having that. And now I'm here with my little baby sisters. Which is really nice. Don't get me wrong. I should have made you guys guess my age. Have a good day. Yeah, and the thing is, if I, uh, yeah, thanks, Lee, <laughs> but I told you, so, yeah, no, my sister says I look like I'm 32, I just, I was baffled, um, but, yeah, I mean, like, if I, even if I had the van built, like, I would still stay here voluntarily for a while, because I'm full-time traveling, it's, like, it's especially hard when you have like children um, that you're close to. Like I have my two baby sisters, they're eight and 13. So that's, it's just hard because every time I see them, they're like a little bit more grown up or I miss like monumental points in their lives. So I would voluntarily at this point in my journey, hang out with my family a lot more, but, um, but it's just nice to have, the option to like leave if I want to. And the fact that I'm kind of stuck is what I don't like. I've 
And that's why I live this lifestyle. That's why I like van life because I'm location independent. And even if I was by myself, even if I had like an apartment somewhere, I would feel the same way. It's not necessarily because of family. I just don't like feeling stuck. Uh, yeah. Well, my mom, like I was here in July or June and my mom made a comment about how I look 30. And I was like, I literally, it was so embarrassing my sister's boyfriend was like sitting at the, in the kitchen with us and I just started crying. Like, I think I was already, I was just like in a really bad headspace. I was right before my relationship ended and I was just like, I was like feeling really depressed and fragile. And my mom said that and I just started, I could not stop crying. And then, uh, a couple of weeks or over Thanksgiving when we went to Florida for, um, to see my family my little sister said that I look 32 and she said and then I was like what the fuck and then she was like well there's a range like I if you told me you're 26 I would believe that but if you told me you're 32 I'd believe that too and I was like dude I was 30 or I was 26 six months ago <laughs> that's not saying much Family is so humbling. You can ask the eight-year-old anything. She'll tell you the truth, the hard truth. All right. Uh, might start putting up some of the ceiling ones. Still laid out. Um, like, does the van have steps? The van has a back. Oh, I didn't in, like add any extra steps, but, um, the van has a back step and a, um, side step. The one in the back is a, uh, just it's on the outside, but the one inside is inside the van. Oh, you can't see that. But yeah, I want to get like a, a little, like turf doormat for the inside. I think that'd be sick. I need a step stool.
coordinated enough to do it with my left arm. Yeah, this roof is almost 10 feet. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, almost 10 feet. And I am 5'2", so... Wait, no. Wait, well, how many feet is it? 9 feet? 9 feet, I think. Literally so confused. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> it's almost seven feet. That's what it is. I remember now. Yeah. Six foot ten. That's funny. Vaulted for vaulted ceilings for a van. Just found a, another little area with rust. I should probably scrub.
ceiling oh the ceiling part um i mean i can do it on my own
are so damn sore for my one arm. Friggin my right arm is gonna be so much stronger.
God, my arm is like a friggin' noodle. It's starting to just like give up. After um Yeah, I, after uh, the sound deadener, I'm going to tomorrow hopefully install that big window I have for the passenger sliding door. Um, it's like a ventilation window. It's really big. But I'll hopefully have my mom help me get it up there. I might go over to Home Depot tonight and see if they have like any window tape. Um for when I put it up there, I was just going to use regular like painter's tape and like a lot of it, but I'm just kind of nervous. I don't know, which I think a lot of people use painter's tape. I don't think they realize that like there's a blue tape that's window tape. Um, one sec, my laptop is about to die. Let me go get my charger. I really wish I could play music out loud on a speaker. That would be a vibe and a half.
I was thinking, yeah, I was a blonde mother. Six foot ten. Thank <laughs> you. 
to put the sound dinner on the top. The metal's just so thick.
I think, uh, I think I'm gonna spray the um, little, few random exposed metal points with rust -Oleum. Yeah, the sound deadener. I, I would do the sound. I would definitely recommend the sound dinner. I think it's something I would regret not doing. Yeah, it helps a lot with road noise. Like when you drive it without the sound dinner, like you're kind of having to talk over the noise in the van. It's so loud, but um with the sound dinner like you're like shocked the first time you drive the van after you put it in the insulation doesn't doesn't prevent the vibration from happening unless maybe you use spray foam insulation i think that helps but yeah all right i'm gonna get the uh rough solium.
have a, another small rough spot over here. I'm gonna scrub that really quick. And then while I spray the other parts, this will dry. So, got a little metal Brillo pad. I'm just scratching the rust off of the ground. that dry while I spray the other spots. A lot of the little crevices that have the rust,
Oh, and besides spraying the rust spots, you also like want to make sure you spray just any exposed metal that's not that the paint has like chipped away from because that exposed metal will get rusty if it somehow gets wet. these random exposed metal spots while I am at it. window will be fun to watch. It will not be fun to install. I'm really nervous about that big window. I will be very relieved once it's done.
All right. Sorry, I'm not in a super talkative mood right now.
like so weird to think how I'm like doing this and that I'm gonna live in it and it's just gonna be like a blimp of a memory of me installing the sound editor. It's such a weird thing. I'm being so quiet, sorry. I'm trying.
I know I'm <laughs> trying to listen to it now, but every time I pause it, um, I don't know why my earbuds like won't play it again. I have to like go over to my phone. So I pause it a few times to like say something or check the screen. I forget to go to my phone and hit play again. Did you build today, Scarlett? Oh, yeah, you did say it was raining in Seattle. Ooh. Yeah, I still need to order my solar. I just need to make sure I... I need to make sure I know what I want. I... I'm so perplexed about my solar situation because I want a, a deck on the roof so bad. I really, that's like always been something I've wanted. The ProMaster roof is bigger and it's flatter and it's wider. But um, that's good. You got 400 watts. I'm like... I'm like, te I'm tempted to only get 250 watts of solar because I want the roof deck so bad. And I don't know how else, like I've checked the dimensions of the panels and everything with uh, the space I have on the roof and it's tight up there. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to get a rack. I'm working on that now as well. So, and that's the thing, like, I want to make sure, I don't know, I kind of want to, like, get the roof rack first and then decide on the solar because I can order the solar off Amazon and get it, you know, two-day shipping, but the roof rack will take a while. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like a roller to have like on the road i don't really see why you would need one yeah i was actually looking at the one from yunaka gear i don't know how you say it yunaka i was also looking at a uh, van tech or Tech Van, I think it's called TEC Van.com. They had a pretty good price.
Thank <laughs> you. 